Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. I'm going to have a quick look at uh, how the temperatures may be stacking up for April in today's video. Uh, I think it could be in for a relatively cool month uh, coming up actually. So I'll have a look at the charts on that in a moment. Then we'll have a look at uh, sort of the next 8 to 10 days. Uh, that takes us through the Easter period. Did the update yesterday for Easter and it was very poor. Um, it's on the events page, if you want to see it. it was a, we had a very poor run of the GFS yesterday evening. Things looking a bit better uh, this morning, so maybe some good news uh, for your Easter events and festivities plans. Uh, we may not be seeing things as bad as it looked uh, yesterday evening with uh, the 12 o'clock run of yesterday's GFS. But we'll have a look at all the charts on that in a moment. I'm going to start off with the central temperature as well. But for again, I'm about to set out the ads. There's links to articles on most of the pages at gasovis.com. In fact, we're on all the pages. If you have a browse through the widgets and widget on the home page, it's just underneath the web video uh, here. Have a browse through that. Click through if there's anything that you're interested in. Uh, you have to go off and read the article. And because you've gone from gas service to where the article is, uh, we'll get a revenue fee on what you're doing. Thanks very much for doing that. There's also green keyword ads on one or two of the pages. If you want to cursor over green keywords, based by ads, it's click through the Go to the website. You support gas service. Matt. And there's a uh, video ad down in the comment box. So have a look at that and hit play on that if you would like to do that. Thanks very much for doing that. All these things are really paying the website. Uh, so thanks very much for getting involved. Thanks for doing that. So starting off with the uh, central England temperature from Hadley. Just see what's happened in uh, March. Here we go. This is provisional up to uh, the 29th, up to yesterday. And uh, we're coming out so far at 6.4 degrees, which is an anomaly of 0 0.8 degrees above average. So running a little bit above average. And this has been the case through uh, the year so far. We have January coming up at 4.4, uh, which is an anomaly of uh, about half a degree above average, 0 0.6 degrees above average. And then we have February uh, at 4.0, which again is an anomaly of around 0.3 of a degree above average. Average. So, March very much uh, on a par with January and February in terms of the anomaly. Um, and running a little bit above average, but the main point to get across with this is that while we're still a little bit above average, we are significantly cooler compared to the very warm conditions that we had through most of 2014. So, 2015 so far is shaping up to be a significantly cooler year, albeit still a little bit above average, but so far significantly cooler uh, compared to the same point last year. And as I say, as we go through to April, we could be seeing signs of quite a chilly month coming up, actually. This is a temperature anomaly uh, for the 30th of March to the 10th of April. We're coming out below average here. Most of Europe, uh, quite chilly as well. I have to go down to Spain and Portugal to find the anomalies uh, above average, also a little bit up towards Finland. But generally, most parts of Europe coming out uh, below average. The British Isles is included in that, around uh, 1, 2 degrees uh, below average in terms of that anomaly through the first week of April. So, relatively uh, cool opening week coming up anyway. Now, this is the uh, CFS city temperature uh, forecast uh, for Birmingham from the website weatherweb.net. This takes us out uh, a couple of uh, this takes out around a couple of months, um, six weeks to uh, eight weeks, something uh, like that. And uh, what we can see with this is that we've got relatively cool uh, temperatures coming up. So these are the temperatures uh, just here, um, and these are the dates down here. And we can see that uh, overall we're going to be flatlining, really, through uh, most of April. You would expect April very much to be seeing a warming trend through the month. It's one of those months that, uh, with the sun getting rapidly stronger, of course, and came back into the Northern Hemisphere, you expect April to be very much a warming month from uh, the start to the finish. Temperatures should be moving up significantly through the month. And there's no real evidence of that on this uh, graph at all. We just sort of flatline there somewhere around 10 to 12 degrees, something like that. Say so this temperature scale just here, 12 degrees is there, 9 degrees is there, and that's sort of the ballpark that we're in somewhere around 10, 11, 12 degrees. Um, I'm going well into April here uh, with this, and uh, we get to towards the end of April. I mean, this is 26th of April just here, and there's no real sign of an increase in temperature. That's just we start May, this is the 1st of May, just there. Uh, we find the temperatures dropping uh, a little bit, and they go really very, very cool indeed. Both sort of temperatures there 
around uh, five, six, seven degrees. That's very, very cool temperatures, actually, through the first week of May. Um, and then let's go through the second week of May. Finally, we see a push-up in the temperature. So we get through to around the 10th or 11th of May. And finally, we're up to around 18 to 21. Uh, and that's sort of the kind of warmth you expect to begin to push through as you get through into May. So things do start to recover as we get to uh, May, but it's not sustained, which actually begins to drop back again, you expect that. Um, but it's not until we get in towards the second week of May that we finally start to see those temperatures pushing up. Otherwise, very, very disappointing uh, temperatures there indeed, really, through April and into the start of May. Really flatlining, no increase in the temperatures uh, at all. And this will give us uh, a cooler than average month. Also notice there is a significant risk of frost through the first week of uh, April. That's around the Easter period just there, going down to minus three. And again, there is a frost risk as we go through that first week of May. We've got that significant drop in the temperatures um so that would be very sort of late season frost and that would affect uh, the fruit blossom no doubt uh, about that so we can see uh, the temperature mean maximum uh, temperature forecast uh, ending the week the 5th of april here and you can see that uh, overall the uh, sort of mean maximum temperature up to the 5th of April, sort of 7, 8 degrees in the south, fours, fives in north, very disappointing really. And that's maintained through to the weekend in the 12th, it's the second week in the period, weekend in the 12th of April, again 6, 7 degrees. Uh, probably a bit on the pessimistic side, you can maybe move that up nearer to 10 to 12, but it's the idea that it's uh, sort of flatlining temperatures, quite disappointing. And then going through to weekend in the 19th, again really quite cool, um, through to weekend in the 26th. 6th of April, again, temperatures are cool. We're only uh, sort of around 10, 11, 12, 13 degrees, something like that. No real push up in the temperatures. And then we go that weekend in the 3rd of May. Remember, there's that drop in the temperature actually occurring through the first week of May. And it goes really, really cool. Deep. That's cold, uh, significantly cold for the first few days of May, uh, where the temperatures are well down into uh, single figures. And then as we move through to the weekend in the uh, Tampa Bay, finally they're beginning to recover. And um, we did see on the graph that by turning it through to the second week of May, we begin to push those temperatures up. That's several weeks of really quite cool and disappointing weather indeed uh, from the southwest. The uh, rainfall forecast, again, this is... Um, uh, broken down into weekly periods. So this is the week ending uh, the 5th of April. We see that uh, for this coming week, there's not a great deal of rain. It's wettest in the north, driest in the south and the southwest. So it's not desperately wet, just rather chilly. Uh, going through to the uh, second week, this, ends, this is the week ending the 12th of April. Again, not too wet. Um, Maybe a little bit in the north and west, but otherwise uh, probably below average rainfall uh, up to the week ending the 12th. But as we go through to the week ending the 19th, uh, it does turn significantly wetter through that week. So it implies that not only is it relatively cool uh, going through April, it also turns more unsettled with some quite heavy rain coming through around the middle of the month. And that takes us through into week ending the 26th of April as well, another quite wet week in that week. Then as we go through to the 3rd of May, and then this is the week where the temperatures are really dropping, becoming uh, significantly colder than average early on in May. Uh, it does dry out a little bit, so no doubt the high pressure is building sort of to the north of the country and pulling the winds into the north, and that's responsible for drying things out, but also lowering uh, the temperatures. And then... Uh, the idea is that as goes through to weekend of the 10th of May, the rain begins to come back into the north and west, and that's on a strengthening southwesterly flow then. So that's responsible for beginning to uh, lift up the temperatures. But uh, overall, a pretty disappointing April, really, uh, being single there. Certainly no sign of anything uh, as significantly warm coming up. Although, I have to say, CFS experimental does change by the day, so we're going to have to see how things go. I've got the April month head forecast coming up later on this week. It'll be interesting to see uh, what happens with that. Let's just quickly have a look at the Easter weekend before I go. This is the GFS chart, latest one, six o'clock run uh, for Good Friday. We've got low pressure over the country, so it's going to be an unsettled start to uh, the Easter weekend. There is a risk of some snow in the north and the northeast on 
Thursday, by the way. Um, we get rid of that low pressure by Saturday and the high pressure beginning to ridge in, albeit it's, it's cool air, uh, the air flows coming around the top of that high pressure from the north. But uh, the high is ridging in, and as we go through to Easter Sunday and Easter Monday, the high pressure sort of builds in over the country. So although the temperatures will probably be quite disappointing, quite cool, uh, at least it is mostly dry. And as I say, last night's uh, update that I did for Easter, based on the 12 o'clock run of the GFS for Sunday evening, um, that has been moderated. So that was a very poor uh, update, and it doesn't look as though they'd be quite as bad as that. And that high pressure sticks around a few days um, as we go through into next week before eventually being pushed away and low pressure starts to move back in by day 10, which is the uh, 9th of April. Uh, having a look at the E7WF again in agreement, we've got low pressure around the country for Good Friday, so that's probably going to be the worst day of the weekend. We uh, go into Saturday, the high pressure's building in off the Atlantic, although the winds are in from the north, so it's going to be pretty chilly, really. Uh, and we'll, there will be risk of cloud and showers in the east in particular uh, with this area of high pressure, but overall it's settling down, albeit fairly cool air as we go through the Easter weekend. This is Easter Monday and it looks okay. High pressure is in across the country. It will be cool, but mostly settled if it comes off like that. And then uh, as we go out through next week up to uh, day 10, Thursday the 9th of April, high pressure sits just to the west of the country, so it remains cool. The air is coming around top of that high pressure from the north, so disappointing temperatures, but uh, not too wet. And so that probably backs up what you're looking at from the CFS. Rather cool temperatures uh, for April, Fairly dry for the first half, maybe wetter into uh, the second half. So that's how I was looking for today's update. I thought you'd find it interesting to see that uh, we may be in for some relatively cool weather for uh, April. But the good news is that uh, the Easter weekend not looking as bad as it did uh, for yesterday's update that I did yesterday evening. Right, that's it for now, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.